I'm in Shenandoah National Park and it's amazing, but it might be my last trip in this van. And I genuinely didn't think I would say those words unless she was totaled or someone was prying the keys from my cold, dead hands, but I never imagined myself moving on from this van without a real fight, but, but the truth is I have been fighting for this van since, since the day I moved into her because I made one major mistake. I wish I could go back, but instead I'm moving forward and I'm finding a way to still live this dream with the cards that I have now. Let's go back for a moment. I bought a Ram Promaster in early 2020, something I had been working on long before the pandemic, and now it's been two and a half years, going on three years this July because I wanna say it now, no, I am not quitting van life, but yes, I am selling my van. Just wait till the end of the video. I promise this ends well despite some pretty big bumps in the road. If you're thinking about getting into van life, traveling the world in a van, and you're watching this video, you may be just like me three years ago, anxiously watching every video I can find, trying not to miss anything, worried about every minute detail, but also stepping into this new adventure with no experience in this realm. I had no idea how to use a power tool, what things to check for when buying a used van, so I didn't notice the window buttons were broken and there was no cruise control like they said there was, and I made plenty of other mistakes along the way. I blew my fan circuit board during the first week of my build. I put a giant hole in my divider wall that I never fixed even after two years, but those were fixable or just tiny mistakes. But there was one mistake that two years later, I am still paying for literally. And it's the reason that I now decided to sell my home, to sell the place that I've poured my heart into for the last three years. So what is it? What was it? I messed up my budget and probably not in the way you think. I followed the budget I made very well, however, I just didn't budget smart enough. I had everything planned out, I had plenty of money set aside for the build, I was working a 9 to 5, 40 hours a week during most of my van build to continue to put money aside. When the van was finished, I knew I would have to get a 9 to 5 somewhere for a month or two to build up a little bit more money to travel full time like I had planned, and I was okay with that, that was the plan, work a few months, then travel, then work a few months. But it's been two and a half years and I've never gotten to take a break I was hoping for. And because of that, van life isn't what I planned. And it's all because of two massive budget issues I had at the end of my build. The first was that I didn't have any savings for maintenance issues. And right as I finished my build, I had, I believe around $2,000 in maintenance and car repairs that became an issue. And including that, I've had at least $1,500 in vehicle repairs three times in three years and have never had enough money saved to be able to afford those costly repairs. Now, mind you, there are plenty of people who do van life and don't have that costly of repairs, but whether you have had issues in the past or not with vehicle repairs, you still should have savings put aside for these kinds of things on the road. Just because it doesn't happen to everyone doesn't mean that it's not going to happen to you. And I know that that is so much easier said than done, especially if you are moving into a van for financial reasons. And if you're thinking of getting into van life, I strongly encourage you, when you're considering the price of your van and the build, include cushion space for maintenance issues. Also, two years into having a van, I started doing my own maintenance work when I could. Replacing my ambient air temperature sensor was like $750 at Firestone. And I looked it up on YouTube and I fixed it myself for $211 in two hours. The second budget mistake I made was that the only plan I had for after my van build was, well, I'm going to travel, but the important question is where, how, when, because I ended up in Vermont tied to a job at an organization that I had to be with for at least six months when my original thought was not to budget for a heater or for winter, but I had to buy a heater, which was $3,000 and I bought $800 winter tires, which was not in the budget. And that's how I ended up totally broke. And yeah, that's embarrassing. I was 23 and no one teaches you about money or budgeting in school and I don't want you to make the same mistake. So I think it's important to talk about. Later this week, I'll be releasing a video on how to budget a van build and going over all of the aspects in a video partnered with Van Life Academy, a course that walks you through all of these things, including having a full comprehensive budget spreadsheet. So if you're interested in that, turn on notifications or subscribe or check the corner of this video. I'll add it once it's uploaded. But what now? I'm selling my van, but I'm not quitting van life. I'm actually going to be buying another vehicle and converting it and documenting everything step by step on this channel, partly in hand with that amazing program, Van Life Academy, which teaches people how to build vans in the most comprehensive way possible. I am so excited to get back into van building and I already have so many great design ideas for my new van. And I know in my heart, it's going to be better than the last because this community we have growing here and I can't wait to build a van with all of you. Thanks for hanging out with me again today and I hope to see you next time. And hopefully soon we'll have a new van.